My name is Jonathan Holm. I'm a professor here at ETH and uh, I work in quantum computing. So quantum computing is a trying to apply the rules of quantum mechanics, which gives us a new structure for logic, uh, to uh, computation. So trying to solve puzzles that you might program into some sort of device. For me, the end game is uh, achieving very precise control of many quantum systems. Uh, that's interesting from the perspective of quantum mechanics, but the long-term end game, which is probably interesting from other people's point of view, is really a computational device, a computer, that can uh, do certain tasks that your normal computer cannot do. Some would be, they sound bizarre, but one would be finding prime number factors of very large numbers. And I say that's bizarre, it's bizarre to me too, but it, that's the way that your uh, email is encrypted by making use of the fact that that can't be done on a normal computer. So in a typical experiment, we have some uh, atoms. They're in a very high vacuum. Uh, they sit in a string and they're charged, so they push each other apart. And, and we, what we would do is we would put some information into the atoms. So we would take some of the laser system shown here and pulse them on for a short amount of time to store information. And then we would try and do something which is a sort of controlled operation based on what one atom has information. Uh, how does that influence the other atom? So we would maybe make this atom move as a function of its information. The other atom would see that and that's the basic element of a computer, uh, some sort of conditional operation. So yes, one thing that Schrodinger thought about was a cat that's dead and alive at the same time. And he said, this is not something we see in the normal world. Uh, but actually in our experiments, we always play with atoms where they're both right and left at the same time in this superposition state. That's actually a key component of us trying to build a computer. So every day we have an atom and we push it in these two directionals simultaneously. Uh, and this is something we see in the lab every day, all the behavior we see is consistent with that, and that's totally a contrast to what you know because you experience classical physics from the cat that's not dead and alive at the same time.